Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes it makes sense that school dedicated cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be her lunch. It smells really good. I bet it's chicken. It might be chicken. Okay, we're on the toad. Oh. Ever can I have your attention? Uh, uh, he's not here right now, so I'll just get. Is it about lunch? I love it. No, I just went for just my tardiness. You see, I was. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Colonel speaking chat. I repeat, the Colonel is speaking. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <clears throat> In honor of the new snack, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Aha! Uh -huh. must be the smell I smell! Indeed, that smell! Hold a breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? It is this! Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Wow. This is making me hungry. Piled higher, huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The warm wet envel envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Bye bye, Captain. Nothing less than a leavener is my favorite way to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! <laughs> nah, my dude. Nah. Nah. So his hair's Shaw. in the- His hair's in the shape of a star, I just noticed that. Uh, I'm just- Oh no! <laughs> okay, I can't stop it anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, okay, is that good? Uh, I'm just- Okay. I'm just drafting a last will and testament. In case of- one of those ingredients is poison. Get him! <laughs> Got him! This character is a JoJo reference. Exactly, this is a JoJo reference, probably. Angie Sanders must protect. Looks on nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. And I was just like, riding in my diary. She likes to sing. Do you know? Today, I smell something beautiful. I did at the first moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken. Wow. Interesting diary entry. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, please. Hmm. <laughs> well. A man, man, if you don't want it. I'll take his! Whoa, whoa, there! Hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. The colonel is displeased. Oh, he's got Super Saiyan hair now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his appearing exhilaration and act unpressed. unimpressed. Easy. There's enough for you. These, my fellow classmates. Yeah. Did anyone else hear that bear noise in the background? Oh, Fionn, that's the bear cult coming after you. Because you're the one who voted against it. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! Tasting Carl Sanders' food transports you to another dimension! Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Okay, chat, we need a pull. Should we focus our mind and meditate at this moment and try to identify every flavor? Should we savor the moment and everything about and everything it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart? Or should we swim towards the light? What should we do, chat? Ooh, these are hard choices. It's a very difficult choice. Coins. The coin is evil. Coin is evil. We don't run anymore. The sleep took me. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. 
what a guy! Alone with the flavors, you feel something can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Aren't they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with the colonel. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold of you to come out and ask! Oh, he's, uh, he's it's an idea I've had for a new combination of flavors that will make me earn my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain. Harley's custom fried chicken restaurant. No big deal. It's just you and me are here talking. I can give a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own. I'd be willing to trade. Ha <laughs> ha. What's the rush? This adventure's only just getting started. We've got two whole more days to get to know each other. He's clearly enough to give up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be uh, persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? The chicken staff, though. I love the chicken staff. Chicken staff is amazing. I want a chicken staff. Nice. You deserve one. Aww. Thank you. Like a bird one. You've got a foxy. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. Then leads in. <laughs> you can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Everyone! Lie down for a second. You just felt his warm breath. His presence. He, his, He's swooning me so his much now. Oxygen touched you. He breathed on you. His morning radiance. But you can't tell. I use white out. It's <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that's probably poisonous, isn't it? <laughs> Why the? Wow! You never guessed that! In fact, you're not even sure where do you get some if you search. You find Carl Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, oh, the music's changed. It's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I do say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. Bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure out. You figure now is the best moment to show your personality to him. Modest. We're going with modest. Be modest but thoughtful. Oh, that was good. Well, I just want to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors are complex but comforting. They're flavor between salty, savory, and peppery was perfect. I appreciate the compliment. Pong Pong the Pug the Fourth. Oh my gosh, he knows he knows our name. Wow. What a scene. Oh no. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today. But I'm starting to get a same, the same feeling about you. Oh. <laughs> we should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. Look at this place! It's magnificent! Finally, we get to show our stuff. Oh no, I forgot that's a forbidden word in my band now. Not by me. Oh no. The Twitch overlords, what would they do with your fate? Oh no. Wait a second, oh no! We have to know our stuff! What if I totally blow it? Oh no. You're not gonna blow anything! Except even kisses to the crowd of fans are gonna earn with that signature adorable tiny food creations! Oh no, we have to choose again. Naturally, Miriam looks at you. Looks over to you, but how are you able to control yourself? You pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? She's a crying. team of two. You made her cry. Yeah. You made her cry. We knew if that wasn't clear. 
something wrong. Oh no. I'm gonna try to save it again, Amber. But she said the S word. Oh no. It's illegal. I wanna be my partner? Oh. Sure. Pong, pong, the pawn. Go for it. I'll prepare our station. That you as a partner in Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different stu two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Hey, Paul, what's up? Oh my, you pretend to partner. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. That's a travesty. Looks like you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward. But let's probably have to pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to be Miriam's partner? Oh, we gotta choose. This is a Who's very important be her boyfriend? Goal. Who is the boyfriend for Miriam? <laughs> what is her path? It's disconcerting, uh, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. I love your enthusiasm. She looks at you like, really? This good? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking glasswork. <laughs> which dish? Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Oh, we gotta choose chat. This is a very important decision. Uh, steak tartar seems easy enough. It's fancy, and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sam's mind. Colonel would like your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. And so, okay. that's his immortality. There we go. Get mashed potatoes and gravy. And he loved it. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we can make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Oh, go get the potatoes! No, please. Let me. Picking per perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? <laughs> also, I just noticed her leggings. I have chicken legs in them. Oh my god, they're drumsticks! Oh, they're cursed! <laughs> they're drumsticks! <laughs> it's cursed. Or, I guess not her socks, like her- Or I guess not her leggings, like her socks, I think. I don't know. We're just cooking partners! Mind your own business! You're a strong, independent woman. This whole game is cursed. That's true. <laughs> Santa's heart is my business, darling! And if you better get away for your careful <coughs> and you better keep your fingers off my man. Oh no. Oh, the, music the music changed. Oh jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing on Pong Pong, the Pong Force Dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our class. That's the deal, Simba. Oh, how do you know that? Then, then. Are you working a quartet and still a duet now? Hmm. Actually, uh, uh, no. I, it looked like a, a Pong Pong, the, the, the Pong 4, uh, oh, was struggling, so I offered to give it on the hand. Uh, you know, you know it, how it is. The, the, these young amateur chefs really need a, a lot of men. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up on my own. Ha. I don't know. Don't be rude, Bon Bon. Personally, I have no doubt whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to conduct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken is quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you have me, 
might be a bit of honor for you, man. That has positioned itself at your station. If we need sleep in here, oh no. Get some sleek ick if you need it. Sleep is good. Don't you feel that uh, deep down that we cast compliments to each other? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. Just makes sense. <laughs> Nothing about nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's going after Colonel if you don't watch out. So the intense music. Ashley's going really going at you hard. You ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Okay, should we turn to Colonel Sanders? Hunk of hunks in your time of need. Or turn to Miriam, our forever bestie, who always has our back. Who should we go with chat? Forever bestie. You turn to Miriam. Who, and as soon as you find her, she senses it and looks back. This girl, a friend in need, right? R is second to none. She immediately comes running over. Is somebody threatening my friend? I will destroy them! Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Well, I actually See think when that. The red what? See when the red tags are threatened. Honestly, though, I actually like the Ashley and Van Van. We're just leaving. Leaving him in the dust. These off his my skills as a chef, perhaps. But snapping away from this competition, you're totally mistaken. Miriam, you're right. The Pong Pong, the Pong Pong is my Looking for sprinkles and hopes he might step in, but he's nowhere to be, to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture, with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know well while your attention was elsewhere. I knew just what to do. Carl Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be proud. Oh, that looks good. I want it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm about hey. to say. It's really making me hungry. Also, I may have actually uh, overdid it with the Yuki stream. What? I may have overdid it with the stream. Oh no. I mean, my throat is feeling it. Oh no. I did already grab some water, yeah. Yeah. Colonel Sanders holds out a spork to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Oh my god. Your, eye <gasps> <laughs> Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Oh my god, it's too beautiful. <laughs> Together, you dig up, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and let the heaving spark pull up when you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you flame the spark full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> bad, bad, do something! <laughs> Uh, scooping up a fingerful, then I taste the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realize that it's delicious! Horrifying from this revelation, he slinks away. Will you ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Potato soup. Meme. What does that mean? <laughs> that was really confusing. It's like, can I have a cheeseburger? And it's like the cat. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Bam Bam rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potato. Oh, that's the airline, sorry. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon. Braised tentacles of octopus, 
in my silky soul plated plated on a battle axe blade, forged by my supreme chef. Has started. Yeah. You've ignored me for too long. That means now it is I who will have first bite, and you all look on with envy. The interrupting suit rushes at Van Van and swipes to buy off his signature dish right off the plate. is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle is being slurped into Pop's mouth. RT is dead. RT has died. Rip RT. This is a tragedy. <laughs> Pop winces in pain for just a moment and then almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oops. I feel like the music's too loud so I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. There's a, just the YouTube. <laughs> Uh, that means it, it's going down. There we go. Okay, for real it's now. There we go. It tastes like poison. Entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock is frozen. The whole crowd. There are motionless statues. Class bell rings, disrupting the moment and sapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pops and Susan are trying new things despite ob uh, obvious danger. He's not yelling him against poisons of all kinds. He's a superhero. Oh, it's a ghost. Um, you do gamer ghost voice. Uh, gamer ghost. Gamer ghost. I want to hear this gamer ghost. Oh, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. It's ghost of student. Seeing that you're shaken up by the really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? For real? Oh, come on! You call Colonel Sanders out of the room. <laughs> 